Uh, guys, I'm going to go over the uh, the breakout real quick right now, um, and I posted the solutions to the uh, the agenda website. Um, if you want to take a look at them, uh, it's going to be pretty quick. Um, So the first uh, uh, objective was to create a, a file called h.py to get um, uh, experience using the built-in modules within uh, within Python, in particular the daytime module, uh, and then do a few things with it. Uh, so first we want to uh, import this daytime module. Now this is a built-in module uh, within Python, so everyone should have it. Um, then we can create a, a variable called born, um, which is a daytime.daytime .daytime object where daytime is a function within the daytime module, uh, and then give it a date, your birth date. Um, the uh, uh, variables here are, are uh, year, month, day, uh, minute, second, uh, millisecond, microsecond. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and uh, there's also a function uh, within the daytime uh, module called now, which gives the current uh, date. Um, uh, and one of the uh, abilities of this uh, uh, daytime uh, object is that we can subtract the two, and that will give us a new type of object, um, which is a daytime object. And we can pr uh, print this, um, the difference, which will give us a nice printout statement, which I'll show in a bit. Uh, and then we can print out days alive, where uh, uh, we get the, the days uh, of that uh, time belt object, and then hours, we just multiply that by 24. And we can create the uh, um, uh, time delta object, where's the the, uh, the number of days, one, or sorry, how many days, the date, 1,000 days from now. So I'll just quickly demonstrate that, that it works. Do Python h.py. And I have been alive for almost 10,000 days. Next, uh, we want to create our own module, uh, which is uh, h1.py. So we can create functions within this module. Here we have days since now. We give it three, um, uh, three, sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll just skip through this because we're running out of time. <laughs> create two functions, days since now and days from now, which all with both the different things. And then we want to be able to call this from the command line, so we do this if name equals main, so we can call this within the command line um, and be able to handle it depending on how many arguments we give it. Uh, if we give it two uh, arguments, then we do this uh, date from now. If we give it four arguments, then we do date since now. Uh, else we just print an error statement saying, I don't know how to handle this many number of arguments. So here we go, Python, if we give it one variable, uh, it tells us the dates in that many days. And if we give it three variables, uh, it, it tells us uh, how many days since then. And if we give it some unknown number of variables, then it will say, we don't know how to handle that. So there you go, take, out, take a look at the solutions online, um, and uh, go on to the next function. Oh yeah, sorry? It, did, did you import daytime or? Okay, so try daytime dot daytime question mark. So that will be a function within the daytime module. It's kind of confusing because it's the same name, but yes. Yeah. I see you put Sorry. This module. This is module. Yes. Is that necessary? Yes, uh, because down here we have. Uh, we want to know how many uh, arguments were we oh. gave it, so we use this. It's not rb. Yes. Can it create function without arguments, or just like start arguments? Yeah, we can just give it. Uh, you can give it no arguments if you want. So just function start arguments is just normally work. Uh, star arguments. I would just give it no arguments. Just put parentheses. Is that what you mean? Well, the one the size was. Starting this Yeah, so you want to, so what's the question? So, so I want to create a function, 
Yeah. Yeah. That would work. Yeah. And so what you could do is then, if you say, I don't know if I'm going to get just a year, or a year and a month, or a year and a day, or a year and a day and a second, and blah blah blah. I don't care. I'll let the I'll let daytime deal with that. You could essentially pass the equivalent of the sysargs directly into this function, which it calls day since now, and instead of requiring that there's exactly three. I mean, the question asks you to have exactly three. But let's say it was three, four, or five. You could say, I don't know. I'm just going to now um, create that where it says daytime dot daytime year month day twelve zero zero. You could just uh, pass the arguments directly into that. So if you get star arguments, you just say arguments. Yep. Um, Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Distance now. Uh, oh, here? No, I think it counts uh, uh, the, the function name itself as one of the arguments. So it's that plus one. So it's one plus one or three plus one. So if you say you know, dot slash h1.py, that's an executable. Um, the first element of sys.rv is uh, a string whose value is dot slash h1.py. So you need to get two of those. Oh. Uh, oh, yes, that should be oh. yes. That should okay. Be. Yeah. Sorry. I'll update that. Thanks for the. Uh... <laughs> okay. Yeah. You could have. Uh, I, I personally think that's kind of sloppy practice. I like to know exactly what modules I'm importing. So, because sometimes um, different uh, modules will have the same functions within them, like NumPy and uh, and the math module both have um, cosine functions and sine functions. And if you want to know exactly which one you're using, it's I think it's nicer to do it explicitly like this. So that way, yeah. Okay, let's go on to the next lecture.